Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to share with you an idea how you can automate production of your pneumatic plant seeds with easily expandable harvester. Now the outcome will look like this and the program like this. First I'm gonna show you how to build it and then if you're interested we will get into the details how it actually works in the second part of this tutorial. And now Let's get to it. So you're gonna need some machine inventory manager, two inventory cables and some kind of external storage. Then one block gate, one block detector and two inventory cables per one plant you wanna have handled. So I'm gonna build just one module and I will expand it later on. Place dirt here, block gate and block detector with external storage and we are set to go. So now we can get to the programming. I already set up few variables you're gonna need. The first one is named but const. It's local variable. Type only but and in containers you wanna select all of your block detectors connected to the system. Now but is another variable. This one will be global. Container types only but. And in containers you wanna select but const which we already set up. The third one is named but. It's global. Container types but and that's all you need to select here. Next one is named gates const. It's local variable. Type inventory. And you wanna select all gates you have connected to your system. Next one is gates. It's global variable. Container types only inventory. And in containers you wanna select gates const. The last one is name gate. It's global variable, container types only inventory. And that's all you need to set up in here. So now we create new trigger variable. But set this to standard variable but set to buts value order use one cable order now new variable this one will be also standard set it to buts remove and select but variable also standard select gate set gates one cable order and the last one standard select gates remove gate and now we can connect these guys together now we will create two triggers They will be acting on block update. Select but and use metadata 13. The second one will be also block update detector. Select but 
and use metadata 6. Now connect these two guys on while high signal. Then input from gate down blacklist one seat and create output to the chest and we can connect these guys. So now for the last part I will be calling these five blocks as one module. So one module is maintaining one plant and this block of course can be uh, water, netherrack or endstone. So we create last trigger. Interval will be set to number of your modules plus one. So I have one, let's set it to two seconds. Now create variable, set it to standard, uh, find buts, set to buts const and another variable set it to standard variable gates and set it to gates const now we can connect these guys and we should be ready to test it so I grab some seeds and bone meal and now we can try it. So plant it, bone meal it, and there we have it. So let's try another seed. Of course it's going to this chest. So it will replant itself and the rest goes to this chest. Of course in this pack you will probably want to automate lightning seeds or squid seeds. But they also work like this. So I promised you it's easily expandable. So let's take a look how to expand it. Okay, I prepared an area and now I can show you how you can expand this machine. Basically, we will just add few more modules. I will build six of them and I will demonstrate to you that this works even on water, netherrack or endstone. Now we can plant all the seeds. And all you have to do right now is go to but const containers, select all of them, then go to gate const containers select all of them but the strong box then go to trigger interval and because we have now seven of these modules I will set this to eight seconds and now it should be working again so let's try it Of 
course you can wait for these plants to grow naturally I'm just showing you that it uh, works even with the bone meal so there you have it if you're interested in more details stay with me if not I hope it's helpful for you and see you later okay so now I'm gonna try to explain to you how this program actually works what I'm trying to do here is cycle through all these modules connected to the system the module contains of block gate and block detector let's now assume I'm currently working with the second module so this block detector and this block gate are properly set to these two variables now what I wanna do with them I wanna check if block detector is connected to the plant which has metadata 13 or 6 because that means this plant is mature how I'm gonna do this I'm doing this in this part of the program this is set to block update detector it's checking in the block detector which is now properly set as we assume I check if we have metadata 13 and I also check in the same bot if we have metadata 6 because what would happen if I would do this this is actually not working as OR gate but as AND gate so item cannot have metadata 13 and 6 at the same time so I have to do this like this with two triggers and when I connect while high signal to the flow segment I just created OR gate so now every time the plant has uh, metadata value 6 or 13 I have output here and what I'm gonna do with this output I connected this to another segment which which is going to input from the gate we also have currently set to this one this block I want to input everything but one seed so it will try to input the seed and the plant will drop more than one of them the block gate will grab all of them but one so it actually means that it will drop one seed and the rest will go to the chest as we said right here okay I hope that you now understand this part of the program but we assumed that we have the bat and gate properly set now how are we gonna do that we're gonna do that with a little trick I set trigger here it's ticking every second and 
is gonna set the variable but to the first the first one of the bots list we have to use the cable order because we want to make sure it's uh, gonna go in the same order as the gate variable it's also set to the first one of gates now after I set this variable I remove this exact variable from the list of bots what it means that we have eight modules connected to the system uh, actually seven modules connected to the system but now I removed the first one the first pair because I also remove the gate I also remove gate from gates list so these two are no longer in the uh, bots and gates list so when this cycle will be triggered again I'm gonna try to get the first bot from uh, bots list but bots contains just the last sixth of the modules so it means now I get these two guys and it will be triggered again and now I will have these two guys and uh, so on so this cycle will make sure I will go through all the pairs I have connected to the system in the right order so now I hope you got the idea how this part works and uh, we can take a look at the last part which is fairly easy actually if you think about it we cycle through all of this and the uh, gates and bots list is now empty so it will not do anything until we set the bots again to all bots connected to the system and also gates to all gates connected to the system and we will do this every 8 seconds so 7 seconds takes to go to this block after that we have empty lists the gates and the bots and we have to reset it so we set it again to all of these modules so when I again try to get the first one first bot from bots list it's again this block and the same for the gate again this will be the first one and that's all okay so I'm gonna repeat what we did here this part is taking care of properly setting these two variables to the pair of every module connected to the system this part is taking care of harvesting and replanting the major plant and this part is just resetting our list of bots and gates 
So I hope you now understand the code and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.